Nataka ni kuambi. Now let me ask you, do you know some people who talk negatively to you? Wacha ni kuulia often. Unajua watu ambao wanaongea kinyume kukuhusu. Could you raise your hand if you if there are people who talk to you negatively? Could you raise your hand? If there are people who hurt you, can you raise your hand? Okay. Okay, now so we see that many people have their problems. Now most people will react like this. They will be very unhappy. They will, they will get very upset. And then some people will lose sleep. Now again, they want to cause a lepe la usingiz. And I tell, want to tell you a new way. Nataka ni kufere katika jianzu. The new way is jianzu ni. What is talking to you out of anger? Kila baje na kusumuzia dani ya asia. It's from a sinful nature. Ni kutoka na na utenda bamba. You don't have to take it seriously. How it is you tell me to go to na ukauzito. You can forget about it. His words will stay in the air for less than a second. It will go away. So we don't have to take it seriously. When he says to you, you fall. You can say, I'll try my best to be not so foolish. Thank you for, for helping me. Thank you for reminding me. So, now I hope when you go home, when people yell at you, you look at that person, you discern the person as anger. You say it doesn't matter. Because the person has been hurt by people. I have the joy of the Lord. I have the strength of the Lord. Now this teaching is very simple. The teaching is don't eat garbage. When Joseph was sold by his brothers, when he went to Egypt, did he say, Ah, my brothers didn't like me? My brothers hate me. They sold me. They My life has no meaning. God doesn't help me. I want to die. Now did Joseph react like that? Yusuf ali jifanya video? No. Abana. But many people react like that. Lakini watu wengi ujifanya video. But I want to tell you there's a new way. Lakini nataka ni kueleze kuna njia nyingine. Now, can you say it with me? Eh, tafadhali ongea na mimi. It doesn't matter what people say to me. Haijalishi kile watu wanaongea kunihusu. Say it. Rudia nyuma yangu tafadhali. Yeye akiongea una ngoja niongee ni rudia. Sawa sawa? Asante. Say. Haijalishi yale watu wanaongea kunihusu. They have been hurt by people. Wame eh, eh, wameumizwa na watu wengi. They are unhappy. Hawana uh, furaha. So they hurt me. Kwa hiyo wameniumiza. I don't have to take it seriously. I can let the words go away. When, when he said you fall, now this is the word you fall. I don't have to eat it. I can let it go away. I can rejoice in the Lord. So let me tell you, after I became a Christian, when my stepmother yelled at me, 
I forget about it. When I saw out the house, I was very happy. I can forget about what she said. It doesn't matter what she said to me. I can rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. Always. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. And again I say rejoice, rejoice, rejoice. And again I say rejoice. So, when you eat her, don't eat garbage. Neno kuni kwamba usile taka taka tena. And then when you go home and go to school, if someone mistreats you, you talk nicely to the person. Now don't tell him what he said is garbage. It just you understand that is garbage. You don't just don't take it. And you understand. Now people hurt people. Have been hurt by many people. So you can think about these people and have compassion on them. Now and forgive them. Now, and bless them. Now, if this is person who hurts you, some people have been hurt by many people. The whole lifetime. So that's why he's so angry. So I have compassion on him. And I want to bless him. I want to forgive him. That is victory. That way God will like you very much. And God will bless you. Now at this point I'm going to lead you in a prayer. You can think about a time when you were, were hurt by someone. And you can ask God to come to you. Let me tell you, before we became a Christian, Jesus already knew us. He knew us before we were born. He chose us before we were born. So when we were hurt by people, God was already with you. And God wants to heal you. So he has planned for today. He has a plan for today. Then you can understand this person. He has been hurt by people. So you can bless the person. And forgive the person. Now let me tell you. My stepmother. Who has hurt me many times. Many times I pray for her. I understand she has been hurt by people. She has been hurt by my father. So I forgive my stepmother. I bless her. I also forgive my father. I told all these people about Jesus. I gave money to all of them. I bless all of them. I forget about all the bad things they've done to me. Can you do that? When you forgive, God is very happy. Can you do that? Everyone stand up. Everyone stand up.
Now let me tell you. Wacha ni kuambi. Many times I went back to the past. Wakati mwingi nimerudi kule nyuma. And asked Jesus to heal heal me. Na nikauliza Yesu kuniponya. And also to forgive the person. Na kusamehe yule mtu. And then in this those situation I can forgive those people. Na katika hiyo hali niweza kusamehe wale watu. And bless them. Na nikawabariki.
I want to forgive that person. Nataka kusamehe hiyo. I want to let go of the past. Nataka kusahau yale yaliyopita. I can be free. Naweza kuwa huru. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. In Jesus name we pray. Katika jina la Yesu tunaomba. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I want, I want we all together in a big circle and put away the chairs. Put, put it. And as we stand around this room in a big circle, and I want to lead you in prayer. Listen first. Listen first. Listen. 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 Don't move. We want to cry out to God together and help more people experience the Holy Spirit. Then your life will be revived. Then we can experience the Holy Spirit. Now you've heard so many people experience the Holy Spirit this morning. So I hope you hunger for God. Okay.